In my previous video, I introduced a Blender add-on called Block Sculpt, which helps you quickly create a character's base structure by generating geometry between objects. However, if you want to add muscles to your character, Block Sculpt isn't the most efficient tool. You would need to manually sculpt the muscles on your base mesh, which is fine if you are an experienced sculptor. But as a beginner, I wanted a solution that's easier to manage and manipulate. That's why I decided to create the Block Sculpt Muscles add-on. With this add-on, you can quickly create muscles using the pen tool in Blender. It allows you to control the radius and scale of each point, delete muscles, change their color, and much more. I'm also planning to make this add-on completely free if this video reaches 2,000 likes and 2,000 subscribers. So, if you're interested, please like, share, and comment on this video to help us reach that goal. Let's walk through how to use Block Sculpt to create a character. First, I start by blocking out the base mesh for the character using Block Sculpt. I begin with the hips, then extrude and sculpt the mesh, continuing this process until I'm satisfied with the overall shape. I should also mention that I've recently updated the Block Sculpt add-on. Now, you can use curves to arrange your shapes more precisely. To do this, first select the shapes you want to align with the curve, then open the Pi menu, click on Follow Curve and select your curve. The selected objects will automatically follow the curve, making it much easier to achieve the desired arrangement. Although I haven't yet released this updated version on Gumroad, since some testing and additional features are still in progress, this new curve functionality is already proving to be incredibly useful. For example, I'm using it to quickly and flexibly arrange the fingers around the hand. Additionally, you can use curves to create belts and other character accessories, making this feature versatile for various use cases. Once I'm satisfied with the base mesh, it's time to add muscles to the character. I start by creating the muscles with a very small radius using the pen tool. The great thing about this tool is that the muscles automatically stick to the surface of the character, making the process much easier. After laying down the initial muscle structure, I can increase the radius allowing the muscles to merge smoothly with the base mesh. I repeat this process for each muscular part of the character, gradually building up the muscle definition. Once all the muscles are in place, I merge the parts together and voxelize the model. Then, I switch to sculpt mode to smooth out the transitions and make any necessary improvements. Here's the final result, just look at the level of detail on this character. I'm really happy with how it turned out, especially considering this is only my second sculpted model. Without the block sculpt muscles, I wouldn't have been able to achieve this level of detail. And that's all for today's video. The first version of block sculpt is available for free on Gumroad. If you find it useful, please consider donating or buying it on Gumroad to support the development of this and other great projects.